So we've been working on creating these bass loops to go with our uh, drum beat that we have from Billie Jean. And you can see here that I've got three bass loops created uh, so far. Now, what I'd want you to do is to have five different bass loops created. So if you don't have your five bass loops created yet, then you should continue working on getting five different bass loops created. So just for example, I'll let you listen to some of the different bass loops that I have created here. Here's the first one. Okay, so now I'm going to mute this track and unmute this one so you can hear the next one. Now I'm going to mute that one and unmute the last one. Okay, and I will point out also that if your bass track isn't loud enough, you can always turn your drums down using the volume control in your drum track and then turn your bass track up to change that balance. So you should be able to hear the difference there. So if you've got your, fa uh, your five bass loops created, then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to create now a track for a melody or a higher instrument. So the next step is to hit your plus button to add a track. You want to add a software instrument. So here's my new track. And for the software instrument, you're going to come down and choose synthesizer on the list. So if you click on synthesizer, you have another group of instruments and I would suggest you choose lead. Now with the lead, you hear uh, you can see that there are a lot of different sounds here. So first you can click on one and then go to your keyboard and see what they sound like. So go through those and check them out and when you find one that you like then you can choose that one. So um, let me see I think I'll go with the classic techno. So what you're going to do now is you're going to choose one of the bass loops that you've created. Uh, I think I'm going to go with this one. And what you're going to do is you're going to create a melodic part with your new track down here. So your bass uses those black keys on the left end of your keyboard. For this track, you're going to use the black keys on the right half of your keyboard. And just to make this a little easier to see, I'm going to click on this track and move it up here so they're closer together. So the first step in this is to just listen to your drums and your bass loop. Now, so for this new track, I'm going to be using the same black keys that I used for my bass, but I'm going to be using the keys on the right end of the keyboard. So these are going to sound much higher than the bass notes. And you could even go higher. Okay. So the next step is to just play the loop with your bass and your drums and again just improvise, explore, experiment with the sounds on this new track.
So you just, again, you're just playing around, you're experimenting, you're improvising. And then when you get an idea of a melodic idea that you like, you're going to record it with your bass and with your drums. And I'm going to do that just by clicking on my red record button. Okay, now if I have my cycle bar turned on and that repeats, it's going to record over what I just recorded, um, which you really don't want. So you want to stop at the end of four measures. Now, once you stop, don't forget now to go down to your region, click on region, and then I want to quantize what I just played just to help line all of that up. And now I'm going to go back and listen to what I just created. Okay. Now from there, I can go back and do some editing. Like if I don't want the notes to um, overlap and I want a little bit of space between them, I can come in here and shorten my notes up like so and now I can go back and see what this sounds like So if I like it, I can keep it. If I don't like it, I can always delete it and do it again. But then once I have this done, just like with the bass, I'm going to mute this. I'm going to add a new track. It's going to be a software track. And for this one, I'm going to go back to my synthesizers. I'm going to go to my lead. And this time, let's see, maybe I'll try a different sound. Um, Okay, we'll go with that one and I'll move it up here and again I can just improvise and then just play around with the black keys So this, I'm using a lot of repeated notes, and that's totally okay. And once I get an idea together, I'm going to go back and record it. There we go. And again, with this, I want to make sure that I go to Region, Quantize, Eighth Note just to line everything up and then I can go listen to it again. Cool. And the thing that's neat about this is because I'm using the same group of black notes for my bass as for the melody tracks, I can interchange these different bass lines in melodies. So let's say I'm going to use this bass this time. So by the time I see you again on Friday, you should have at least five bass tracks and maybe um, at least one or two of these new melody tracks. So again, the fun of this is just exploring and creating.